you would dream Mary Kay, one day I'm going to drive a pink Cadillac. It was always exciting. She really knew how to make the most of that moment when she stepped out of the car. A lot of people can own a Cadillac, but it's only a pink Cadillac that'll float on a cloud. That's true. I was sitting in the seminar audience when Mary Kay announced that was going to be uh, an award that we could earn. And the first year, I think she just gave away five. Here we are up on stage just wondering what's going on here. All of a sudden, Mary Kay said, you five have earned the use of a pink Cadillac for a year. Congratulations. We went wild and the audience went wild and Lovey Quinn just started kissing the car. I had never dreamt that I could ever drive a Cadillac, let alone a pink Cadillac. But of course, only five winners. The next year, they gave 10. And unfortunately, there was the 11th and 12th person. So they came up with this great idea that if they set a level and everyone who reached this level in production would receive a pink Cadillac to the point where now you see them all over America. The relationship between General Motors and Mary Kay is really an American institution. It started with one Cadillac and 23,000 Cadillacs later is really the pinnacle of success at Mary Kay. Every morning around 9.30, a pink Cadillac turns the corner into a parking lot on Corporate Row in Dallas, Texas. It slips into the reserved space along with the other pink Cadillacs. Mm -hmm. choice of the Cadillac. Just the symbol itself is huge. I don't know that she knew that it would be a 50-year symbol of our company, but she was so good at thinking outside the box that it is. I mean, it's the symbol. It's like Coca-Cola or McDonald's, but it's Mary Kay. It's the pink Cadillac. When I think about Mary Kay and her intuition, to have a Cadillac, a pink Cadillac. I'm sure there were so many people that thought she had to be crazy. I went to the Cadillac dealer here in Dallas and I said, I want a new Cadillac and I want it colored pink. The car dealer said, Mary Kay, custom painting a car is really difficult and I'm not sure you're gonna like this color. And I said, no, I want it pink, please. Well, when she got her pink Cadillac and she drove it to the Mary Kay headquarters, all the sales directors went wild. So they started going to the same Cadillac dealer and saying, we want a pink Cadillac like Mary Kay's pink Cadillac. Let's talk about the choice of pink, the iconic pink. People think so highly of the company and of the brand that whenever they see the car, it just brightens their day. The, the pink paint is exclusive to Mary Kay. It goes back to the first vehicle that Mary Kay purchased. It's a symbol that people recognize. When they see the car, they start asking some questions or thinking about it. I get stopped by women that say, wow, I really like that car. Where did you get it? And I tell them, you know, this is Mary Kay. Para mí, el color rosado de Mary Kay significa pureza, eh, una mujer eh, que sabe lo que quiere. I think it represents a successful woman. To me, growing up in a Mary Kay environment, it was confidence. I believe that this beautiful pink Cadillac represents a legacy that we continue on with, and it really represents all the lives that we get to touch. This Cadillac is so much more than me or you. It's about so many more people that played a part in me driving this beautiful pink car. When the Cadillac dealership calls and says, we have your pink Cadillac here waiting for you, the first time was like, when you go to pick up a pink Cadillac, they have it covered with a beautiful satin cover. And when you pull that drape off, there is magic.
It's awesome behind that pink wheel. ¿Cómo me voy a sentir manejando un Cadillac? Me siento sumamente feliz. You just feel like you can conquer the world with it. I drive this car with such pride, thinking that Mary Kay is sitting next to me. That's why we don't honk our horns or cut anyone off. <laughs> I came home from the hospital in a pink Cadillac, and uh, it's been the car I watched my brother go to prom in. I watched the homecoming queen and the parades ride in this one. It's a constant symbol throughout my life is that pink Cadillac and it's a dream of mine that when I have kids I get to bring them home in a pink Cadillac too. When you're in your Cadillac and the music comes on, sometimes it makes you forget what you had to do to get there. But you're constantly reminded that it is an honor, that it is a privilege, and that this is a car that is respected. It makes me pretty emotional when we first came in here it took my breath away because I just thought, oh my gosh, it's so much more than a pink Cadillac. To be able to sit here next to Mary Kay Ash's pink Cadillac means the world to me because she has changed my life. I think that the message that it sends is so powerful and impactful. It is a voice of a company that has been built to enrich the lives of women. It says it strong, it says it loud, and it says it kindly, that these women are changing lives. And because of that, because of their courage, because they built their confidence, they have a choice of pink that no one else has. I think it was brilliant the way that they told the world that this is special, and you will never, ever, ever forget it. All right, everybody. Welcome to our sharing event for Thursday. We're so excited to see you and Happy New Year to every one of you. We're so excited you're on here this evening. We have an amazing speaker for you all to hear tonight. But before we get to her, I just want to say to welcome to our guests, if you are a guest tonight, you do not want to miss putting your name in that chat section, because if you don't, you're going to miss out on a whole bunch of things. We're giving away free mascaras tonight. Put your name in that chat section and who invited you. Now, if you're a guest, not only we're we giving away mascaras, but if at any point tonight you decide, you know what, this looks like a lot of fun. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I just want to jump in with all you Mary Kay girls. We are giving an opportunity to join Mary Kay for free tonight. We're giving away three free opportunities to join Mary Kay tonight. And all you have to do is type in, I'm in for free, and we will put you in the drawing for that. So I just want to say welcome guests. Please make sure consultants, if you have guests on, you have not seen their name in the chat section, text them and say, I have not seen your name yet. Put it in that chat section. We can get going there. Okay. Well, my name is Janice Trude and I'm a global national sales director for Mary Kay globally because I work here in America and I also work in Europe and I'm so excited to be here with all of you tonight. And again, happy new year. How many of you have made new year's resolutions? Um, a new year, a new you, all kinds of things that rhyme with 22, right? New year, new you at 22. Um, so we're excited you're on here with us tonight. And consultants and guests, especially our guests tonight, we just want to welcome you. I've been with Mary Kay Cosmetics for over 39 years, and we have an amazing speaker tonight, and you're going to hear her story in just a bit. But before we get started, let me tell you, because people always want to know how Mary Kay has weathered the storm through the pandemic. And I will tell you, we've done so great. My husband always says, I've never seen you work like this. I said, I've never worked like this. It's been crazy, busy, but absolutely amazing. So just to let you know, um, when the pandemic hit, oh my gosh, almost two years ago, you guys, can you believe we're going to round this soon? Um, our company had just finished completion on a manufacturing and distribution center, over $11 million in Louisville, Texas. And we actually made over 800,000 hand sanitizers to donate to the front line, which is just amazing. Um, we were called by the government and we were um, asked to do this. And we did, we gave over 10,000 set handsets to um, hospital workers also. And we gave over $10 million to the global COVID. COVID-19 support. And I tell you that because globally, we are in nearly 40 international markets today. Now, I know that probably most of you know that we started with a woman by the name of Mary Kay. 
She started this company over 58 years ago. Um, and today um, we have more patents and more awards and accolades than ever. This is our beautiful picture of our beautiful Mary Kay that started this company in 1963, almost 38 years ago. We did lose our dear Mary Kay in 2001, but we are still a family owned and operated business today with Mary Kay's son, Mary Kay's grandson at the helm of our company, along with national sales directors like uh, Monique and myself. Um, this is our global world headquarters in Dallas, Texas, and all of our products are made in Texas and then it's shipped to different distribution centers. Now, if you're a guest on here tonight, some of the things we're going to share with you might be very important to you and might be um, things that might make a difference for you in Mary Kay. And I do want to show this with you also too tonight. Again, before we have our speaker, Mary Kay has a program called Pink Through and Green because Mary Kay's mission is to preserve and beautify the communities globally. So she's very actively involved our company with, um, you know, what's going on in the environment. We have planted more than one million trees around the world. We have zero landfill status. We recycle all of our bottles and jars and all of our compacts are made out of recyclable plastic. We have used biogradable packaging peanuts. So we're very involved in what's going on in there with the environment, how we're affected by the environment um, and what we give back. And then also, too, we do give back to other groups and organizations. We have donated and given over $50 million in grants to keep domestic violence shelters open since 2000. And we've given over $28.4 million in cancer grants for cancers affecting women. In our European regions, we've given over $80 million um, to orphanages that, uh, you know, to help change the lives of women and children around the world. And so not only are we a company that cares about the environment, but we are also a company that does give back um, to many organizations. Now, I want to share if you are on here tonight as a guest, things have changed since the pandemic. And one of the things that have changed, and Monique will tell you this too, in my 39 years in Mary Kay, I've never seen an opportunity to join Mary Kay Cosmetics for $30. I literally have never seen that. And so when you think about a $30 opportunity to join a company and you get a free website for an entire year and all your credit card processing, that's literally unheard of. Uh, when Monique and I uh, decided to join Mary Kay, we started with a starter bag. We got product trays, mirrors, and started our business. And we're doing workshops and makeovers everywhere. This you can still add on today. It gives you almost $500 for the product. And I think it's a really good deal to do that today also too, because you are able getting to get a starter kit and you're able to um, then do the makeovers. I actually have a makeover here tomorrow at my home. And so, you know, that's one of the things that you can do, um, you know, as we're going through that. It's not a hefty, but I would definitely suggest to add it to your $30 e-start. So you can come into Mary Kay for 30 add the starter kit 130, or you can do 30 and 45, which is the sample pack. People are always asking, so how do we weather the storm? Well, of course, you know, we used to get together with four to five women in groups with trays and mirrors and do all of our amazing workshops. And now we're patching out these little sample packs to you. They're all ready to go in the mail with skincare, charcoal mask, microdermabrasion, glamour, lip color. Everything is in this little package. And now we're getting able to be on virtually. One of our directors last year decided to embrace the virtual world. And I say that because not everybody does. And she fought it. She did $187,000 in sales, never left her home, crossed over the million dollar mark. And her check in June alone was over $61,000. Now, how many of you could get excited about being on Facebook Live or on Zoom for $61,000 in one month? So great opportunities with our virtual world today. Well, again, before we have our speaker on, I do want to share just one other slide here with you because we are out also to um, in the world of advertisement. Bazaar has done many articles for Mary Kay. We've actually launched many of our products on Good Morning America. Our hydrogel eye patch is launched, launched almost two years ago um, with many accolades and awards and a patent. 162,000 jars were sold that month. Allure has done many things for Mary Kay. This here is a picture of our CC cream. We also have um, Allure has done a lot for us when our Mary Kay Naturally line launched. 
This here is from Cosmopolitan. This is from Better Homes and Garden. And we're also in many Latina publications. Now, when you do join Mary Kay for $30, and that is a great opportunity, let me just share with you what your website would look like. This, again, was what I explained earlier to you. This is your free website for an entire year. You know, used to when Monique and I came in, came into Mary Kay, well, actually, when I came into Mary Kay 39 years ago, we didn't have internet, so we won't go there. I talk to people on a telephone. Yeah, never mind. Anyway. So we, you have a website here. When you used to come into Mary Kay, you used to um, just come into Mary Kay, purchase your website and get all your credit card processing, which cost you a fee and all those things. Now you get this beautiful website for an entire year and all your credit card processing with this. Also on your phone, there's a great Mary Kay app where you can order and people can shop online. They can check out online. It can go right, drop, shipped to their door, which is absolutely amazing. And you get this beautiful website designed for you, all your credit card processing for only $30 a year, which frankly is unheard of. I have seen people since the pandemic come into Mary Kay for $30 and turn it around and get a $30,000 car with that. And with that said, before we have our speaker this evening, I just want to welcome everybody tonight in the gallery view. So if you're a Mary Kay Beauty Consultant, can I see all of our beautiful Mary Kay Beauty Consultants way? Where are you all out there? I see you all out there. It's good to see everybody tonight. Hey, Kay, I see all you guys out there. I see many consultants in our national area there. Great to have you guys on tonight. And then our red jackets. These are women who are moving up. I want a car. I'm moving there. So where are those women? There we go. Tina, I saw you pick up your car last week. Congratulations. Brand new car winner. Woohoo! I saw Robin at the car dog dealers too. I see all of you guys. Alice, there you guys are. And then our beautiful sales directors. If you are in management, these women are making two to $7,000 a month, you guys. Great management team. And I really wanted to share this picture with you because that Almost all of these women are driving one of these. Now, you saw in the beginning that beautiful pink Cadillac. And I think you all know about the iconic pink Cadillac. But did you know we have other cars in Mary Kay? And this is the car that you can earn as a part-time Mary Kay beauty consultant. They pay your tax. They pay your license. They pay your insurance. And you pay a small underwriting fee of about $45 a month to drive the car. And it's your car for two years and you can requalify for a new one. How would you love to have a new car every two years? I just picked up my 19th pink Cadillac. So without further ado, I want to read our special speaker. A great story she will share with you tonight. I can't wait for her, uh, for you all to hear about her story. So Monique, Monique Valer Anthony started her business in back in just 2012, not long ago. And she debuted as a director in 2013 with 52 unit members when only 24 were required. She's earned numerous, numerous accolades and awards as a brand new sales director and in her first few years also achieved unit clubs. She's earned... 12 Mary Kay cars, the latest being the 2022 beautiful pink Cadillac Escalade. Um, her highest check in one month hasn't been written yet, but the one she's earned so far is over $17,000 in one month. She's a proud mother of a beautiful 14-year-old handsome son, Andrus, who is a future NBA player and has a su super supportive husband, Dr. Kevin Anthony. We are so excited. She's a brand new national sales director, and I can't wait to have you hear her story. So I'm going to turn it over to Monique. Come off your microphone, girl, and it is all yours. Go, girl. Oh, my gosh. Janice. Oh, my gosh. I am so excited to be here. And that every time I watch that video, it excites me, and I, I just love watching that video. I love the history of the pink Cadillac. I love the history of the Mary Kay opportunity. I love how she started. I love the culture. I'm so in love with the culture of Mary Kay. So like she says, so again, thank you, Janice, for the invitation. My name is Monique Valer Anthony, and I am a brand new national sales director. I've been a national for six months now. I cannot believe it. Six months. And this is my dream come true. This is truly my dream come true. But just to kind of give you a little bit about myself, my background, um, prior to Mary Kay, I went to school to be an architect. Um, I work for a big cancer, I'm, I'm from Houston, Texas, and I work for a, I used to work for a big cancer hospital here in Houston. A lot of you may be familiar with it, MD Anderson Cancer Center, you may be familiar. 
Um, but I worked there and I had an internship and they turned around and they hired me. And I was super excited because that was my dream job. OK. And so when I had the internship, I had a boss, a male boss, and he was so great. And um, he didn't micromanage me. And I was like, yeah, I could do this job. This is easy. And then when they hired me, they moved him to somewhere else. And then I got a female boss and I was like, oh boy, how is this going to go? And it went absolutely great because I walked into a situation thinking that was my dream job, but God had a whole nother plan for me. And um, I remember walking into her office two weeks after starting this position and she had a Mary Kay starter kit sitting on one of her desks, one of her tables in her office. And honestly, I thought Mary Kay was just, I just didn't think it was for me. I thought that it was for all old, old women. I thought it was for people who had nothing else to do. I, I just did not think it was for me. I didn't think you could make a lot of money in Mary Kay. I didn't really think about Mary Kay, to be honest. It never, it never crossed my mind. And she talked to me about the skincare. Now, she had fabulous skin. And at the time, I was not using the skincare and I was not as a matter of fact using any skincare because my mom never taught me to use skincare right and so I got hooked to the skincare so that's how I was initially introduced to Mary Kay and um, I fell in love with it and then maybe a couple of months after that she talked to me about signing up uh, back in the day it was a hundred dollars it's still a hundred dollars if you want the full starter kit which I think you need but it was $100 then, but she simply said, if you sign up, you can buy your products at a 50% discount. And I feel like I'm pretty smart. I understand 50%. Raise your hand if you understand 50%. I understand 50%. So I said, okay, here's 100 bucks. I had no idea. She told me I would get a starter kit, but I never really thought about what came in the starter kit. When I got it, it was like Christmas, like seriously. So I fell in love with the starter kit and I wasn't working Mary Kay as a business until I got the starter kit. And I kind of thought about it. And then I was like, no. And then I got a phone call from a woman who was my director, but she was also my national sales director at the time. Her name is Christine Peterson. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with Christine Peterson, but she's like my Oprah. If you don't know who Christine is, let's just call her Oprah, okay? And she, this woman, my angel, I thank God every day for placing her in my life because she, because of her and I truly feel like you know that first of all this is a company that's big on faith family career and I truly believe that he planted her in my life for a reason she's like an angel and um, but anyways I met Christine and she talked to me about the business side see a lot of people know about Mary Kay they, they think that all we do is sell lipstick and that is a big part of it don't don't get me wrong but the reason why Mary Kay brought product out, as a matter of fact, she had the whole career path and a career opportunity and the marketing plan put together. And she started with wigs and then she switched over to color cosmetics and skincare. And when I tell you, we are we have the best skincare hands down. But when Christine sat down with me, she talked to me about a lot of things. And um, I remember her showing me we have something called an applause magazine. And you have to understand at this time, I think I was, I don't know, 19 years old, 20, somewhere around there, 19. And she pulled out an applause magazine and all I saw was dollars, money, 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 money. Right. And she showed me what she had three. One, she was making 40,000 in a month. The next one, it was like 45,000. The next one, it was like 44,000. But it was consistent. And. What I love the most is not only was she making this type of money, she was inspiring and helping other women to make the same amount of money. See, it's one thing when you're successful, but it's another thing when your whole squad that's with you is winning. OK, that's important to me. And that's what I fell in love with, the actual career, uh, the, the marketing plan. You know, this business, if you sign up, Guess what? You sign up. We don't get anything from consultants signing up. We make money based on how successful you are. 
And that is what I fell in love with. And so shortly after that, six months later, your girl here who had her dream job at MD Anderson started to really pursue um, full time. I had became a director, earned a car, 19 years old and did all of that. And it was great, right? It was great. And so I did that for a few years. I want to say I earned like, I don't know, six cars or so. I was in Mary Kay for a minute. And then I met a man. And I love men, by the way. I love my man, my husband, okay? But I met this man. And, um, you know, typically there are three things that stop a woman. The first one is a man. The second one is a man. And the third one is a man. And then when I turned 30 years old, I realized it's not the man. It's actually, it's me. It's us. Because we have the same 24 hours and we have something called free will that God has given us and we get to make choices and decisions. So, but anyways, I met this man. We literally got married, had my handsome son who is a future NBA player. I say that every opportunity I get because I spend a lot of money sending him to his private coach. And um, he's so great. I love him. Like, he's just so awesome. I love the passion that he has. And I really feel like your words have power. So he's a future NBA player. But anyways, got together. We got married, did all of this, but it didn't work out. We didn't take the time to get to know each other. So it was, you know, went through a divorce. I'm a product of divorce. I promised myself because I was so mad with my parents when they divorced and all of my friends, parents were together. I said, you know what? I will never do this to my kid. Never until I got grown and I realized I can't do this. <laughs> and so um, divorced this man and um, he and I are great friends now. I tell you, it's so interesting how life works. We co-parent very well. Um, but that happened. During that time, I felt like I couldn't be the best leader to my people because, you know, when your home life is not right, things just don't turn out right, right? And so I decided to take a step away from Mary Kay for a brief second, but I knew, I knew this is where I wanted to be. You know, being a national sales director, like I said, I love that platform because I truly have a great desire to to help other people become successful. Right. And I feel like this was just so it was great for my life. Right. And so um, a few years later, 2012, I came back and I started all the way over. And I don't know if you've ever started something and then you stopped and you come back to it and you have to start again. You have to restart. That can be a bit much, right? But I started over and I started with my mom, my sister, three of my closest friends, and they became skincare customers. They were very adamant that they did not want to work this as a business, but they they were very supportive. They knew, they believed in me. And um, I will tell you, I started with them. Now I have over 2,500 consultants in um, my national area. And let me tell you, if you're on this call and you're hearing or you've heard some information that kind of sticks out and stands out to you, I'm telling you, give it a try. Give it a chance. It is not your job to figure it all out right now. It is not your job to figure out who you're going to sell to, who you're going to add to your team. That's not your job. Your job is to ask, make a decision, and then that's when the faith kicks in. And I promise you, he will rearrange the universe when I tell you God has truly, and I'm so grateful every single day, because my prayer is that I ask him to send me the best of the best of the best women and men, because I have a male sales director who's about to earn a pink Cadillac, so I'm so excited. But I ask him to send me the best of the best of the best. And, um, and it's not just the best salesperson or the best person that, that can deliver the marketing plan. I want him to send me servants because I feel as though even though I'm a national sales director, the difference between this and corporate America, you have your boss. Guess what? You work for them over here. I work for my people. OK, I work for them. So how can I serve you? So if you have a servant heart. Oh, yeah, this is for you all day, every day. OK, and one thing I can say is that God will truly give you the desires of your heart and then some when you serve his people. That's what I know for sure. And so that's what I get to do. And I'm so excited because, you know, I was counting the number of cars the other day. And remember, I'm big on. Yes, I became a national, but I want to help my people become super duper successful. That's important to me. And so I was counting the cars. I want to say we have like 26 car drivers in 
our national area. Now, let me tell y'all, for those of you who are like, well, I don't know if it's a good time because with everything going on, it's the best time. <laughs> I literally, like in 2019, for those of you who are consultants and directors, guests may not get this, but I literally only had one offspring March 2019. And then when it and then when the pandemic hit, I became an executive in 2019 during the summertime. And then I went into qualifications to become a national sales director in 20, what was that, 2020? Oh my gosh. Like all during the pandemic. And let me tell you what I did. First of all, I just got Facebook. For those of you who are like, well, I know you gotta do a lot of stuff online. Yeah, you do. But the one thing you have to decide beforehand is you have to decide that you're willing to step outside of your comfort zone and do something different. I'm speaking from experience because I just got Facebook in 2019. I had no social media. My good friend, Carmen Jones, who's a national sales director, she said, Mo, you got to get Facebook. You need to get it so you can get a group to recognize your people. And literally, that's what I got it for. But then when the pandemic hit, let me tell you how great it was. When the pandemic hit, and we're kind of in that state again right now, people are kind of, you know, they're not moving around as much. It's a beautiful time to start your Mary Kay business. You know why? Because people cannot create distractions for themselves. They have to sit down somewhere and they can only watch so many versions of whatever series there is on Netflix, right? They want to do something. But I mean, like, why not start a business, you know, build your customer base, develop relationships, have fun, have fun, make money. You could do three parties in one day. You can do five parties in one day with the use of Zoom. And we will teach you how to do it. Like, I feel like if you're a guest on this call, this is the best time because for those of us who were not tech savvy, who really didn't use Zoom or any Facebook Live or anything like that, we had to learn. So we did all the hard work before you got here. Now you're here and guess what? We got a down pack. All you got to do is just make up your mind if it's something you would like to do. And I say give it a try. You know why? Because we don't know, like it's so much uncertainty right now. You don't know, like nothing's guaranteed. So I say, you know, if you're able to work from home, from your job, even if not, you can still work your Mary Kay business, even if you worked it on the weekends. Like I literally built, Carmen and I built, I want to say, between her area and my area, because we train together, I want to say like 65 directors total between both areas during the pandemic. So this is the best time so that you can take advantage of the opportunity while everyone is sitting still. Okay, so that's a little bit of my story. Yes, I've earned cars. I always said I would never drive a pink Cadillac. And when I tell you, I talk to the career car department like every other day because I cannot wait until that pink Escalade pops up. The person that said they would never drive a pink Cadillac. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I've earned pink Cadillacs and my favorite part about this position, if you're ever going to consider this, go all the way. As a national sales director, they have a family security program. This is literally the reason why I came back to Mary Kay to do it again, because what they do is they take your last five years. For example, 60 to 65, they take the best three years, they average them together and they pay you 60% of whatever your area has been producing. So if you are, you know, building something during this pandemic and you're like, let's just see how it goes. Just see how it goes. Just really try and see how it goes. But can you imagine? Because I only talk about people I know. My mentor, Christine Peterson, she earned $9 million in Mary Kay when she was actively working her business as a national sales director. She started Mary Kay at 39 years old. I'm 39 years old now. OK, she started at 39 years old, 39 to 65, nine million dollars. Do you know they are currently paying her? She had, you know, with her her family security program, the buyout. They're currently paying her forty nine thousand and some change a month for 15 years. Isn't that awesome? Like, what else are you doing? Who's going to pay you that kind of money? And you get to breathe belief in people it's like that's what you do for a living. Like, honestly, Mary Kay paid me $17,000 last month, right? I had COVID half the month <laughs> and I still got paid. 
And I couldn't even sit down. I was like, oh, I got to take this call. And they were like, Mo, you sound terrible. But I, I love what I do so much because I want them to win and they are winning. And I'm, I'm so grateful for the people that I have. So I say weigh the pro, you know, your, your pros and your cons. Like what are the benefits? If you decided to work this business, worst case scenario, you sign up, you buy a starter kit, you purchase your products at a 50% discount. You can even take advantage of some tax deductions because you have a home-based business. But let's just say you don't mention it to anyone so no one knows that you're, you know, you're in business. And guess what? It's over. Like that's all you got to do. But it still benefits because you're getting your products at half off, right? And tax write-offs, all of that good stuff. Best case scenario, you sign up, you become a consultant and you start this business and you build a customer base. You build those relationships. That's what separates us from everyone else. The relationships that we build. You earn a car, you build a team. Who knows? You might even become a sales director. And on top of that, you might become a national sales director. And who knows? You might help someone else become a multimillionaire um, with their Mary Kay business. Who knows? You never know. And can you imagine getting phone calls after phone calls of people and text messages of, th of people thanking you, thanking you for stopping and introducing yourself because they are so much happier right now because they have something that they are excited about when it comes to life. Like that's real talk. Like a lot of people are so slipping off into depression. They just need some excitement, okay? But just imagine. So I just say weigh your, you know, the, the pros and the cons and decide if it's something for you or not. Worst case scenario, you can get started $30 at minimum to get started. So that is all I have for you all. It was such a pleasure to be on. Thank you again, Janice, for inviting me. And if you're a guest that's on, get with the consultant and just start, who knows? I feel like everything happens for a reason. God puts people and opportunity in your pathway for a reason because it was something that you were asking and praying for. Well, Monique, I want you to know this is what we've been doing for like almost two years, these Thursday events, and it's great to always have new nationals and fresh people on here. So it's been great. Now, some of the things, and you can just hear the passion and excitement in Monique's voice. And you think about it, let's think about this. As the world has not been so great and a lot of businesses shut down, Monique did what she did during a time when the world is crazy. And our company has exploded. And if you've done any statistical information, skincare sales rose 554% during the pandemic. Because people got sequestered and they wanted to know how to lose weight, how to fix their face. Because we had really a whole lot, nothing else to do. So it was great. But you can hear Monique's passion. I love hearing the excitement of a brand new national sales director. And Monique, just what you did. So yes, if you were on here tonight, I just want to say a couple of quick things. We all make 50%. Monique does. I make 50%. Brand new guests consultants. It's a level playing field. We all make 50% profit. And one of the things that we all love, especially Monique and I both, is we have no territories and we have no quotas. You, Your territory is United States of America. And as a sales director, you can build in other countries. And Monique, maybe that's your goal is to go out of the country. I don't know. But a lot of people love to do that also too. I have a lot of people and directors in other countries and that's really fun also too. So that's something that you can also do. Now, people always ask me and guess I know you're going to ask this question. How much do you have to sell? And the answer is you don't. And then they sometimes will say, well, wait, what, what do you mean? You don't have to sell? No, we have people who love our product so much that they come into Mary Kay just to get the products at half price and place maybe two orders a year or one order a year, a couple hundred dollars, and they stay as a consultant in Mary Kay. Now, I'm going to ask you a question, Monique. We've been asking the same question for almost two years now, every single Thursday. So guests, this is for you. If you're a guest here tonight, if Monique and I gave you $20,000, we said, here it is, it's yours. We're going to give you $20,000. You have 48 hours to spend it. Can I ask for Monique and I both tonight, if you had $20,000 extra, dollars, what would you do with that? Would you mind putting that in the chat section real quickly? If you're a guest, what would you do with an extra $20,000 right now? Because we believe these are the goals and the dreams and the things that you might want. And you know, when you think about $30, tomorrow is Friday and we have a weekend. Thank you, Christine, pay off debt. Um, if you think about $30, you will spend $30 on two buckets of popcorn watching Superman this weekend or something like that. Because that's literally, I think, what the cost of 
movie theater popcorn is now $10 a bucket or something, or maybe it's 20. I don't know. Um, and it's not really that great for you. So pay off debt. I see school loans. I face a lot of different things that people are looking for. So you know what? You never know till you try. Now, Monique, I don't know about you, but for me, because I was like pay rent for the rest of the year, pay off my credit card and go to Disney at day for my baby's birthday, buy a new car. Well, actually, uh, Michaela, you could earn a new car and you wouldn't have to worry about that. You'll want to pay off your credit cards. Um, the big thing for me, Monique, was the buy that policy. So for me, it was like, you know, I have a degree. What if this doesn't work? I bought some products. Mary Kay says during your first year, if you decide not to do Mary Kay anymore, I see pay off credit cards and fix my car. Mary Kay will purchase back all the products that you purchased back at 90%. I thought, you know what? It's a $30 decision. You guys, we all go to Costco or Sam Clubs. We go down one aisle. We buy stuff because it's in bulk and we throw it away. And it costs more than $30. It's a $30 decision. Tonight, we're going to give away three free opportunities to join Mary Kay. If you are a guest on here tonight, please make sure you type in, I'm in for free in that chat section, because we want to put you in the drawing so that we can draw your name and you can join Mary Kay for absolutely free tonight. Thank you, Michaela. So if any of you guys are in for free, make sure you type that in the chat section, because we want to be able to do that for you. You get your beautiful website and everything for an entire year. Now, one of the questions, and if you have a question, thank you, Jessica, also I'm in for free. If you guys have a question, put it in the chat section. Real quickly, I will watch that. But here's some of the questions we always get. Um, number one, I always am asked, where's your product made? Well, it's made in the United States. Thank you, Lily, I'm in for free. Um, it's made in the US, you can't get any more than USA made than in Dallas, Texas, okay? Secondly, is everybody always wants to ask about training. So let me say how, here's how training will go. So Robin Cartmel, sorry, Robin, I'm just gonna pick on you because I see your face there all the time. Robin loves Mary Kay. She uses TimeWise Repair. She uses the clinical solutions. She's going to use the new product that's coming out um, that nobody knows about yet. And um, we have all these great things that are coming out. And so she loves our product and she spends a lot of money. And so Robin says, you know what, Janice, I just want to get my product half price. I want to like save $100 here and $100 there. So I'm really good. And I say to Robin, well, Robin, just come to one training. We'll just do a little bit with you. And then you'll know what to do in case you need anything. She'll say, great, I'm good. And then Tina says, Janice, I, you know, I, I'm kind of like in that part right now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I used to work a corporate job or I've been at home or whatever, but I need like four or $5,000 a month. Now, Robin's training and Tina's training will be two different trainings. You have to have a conversation with your national sales director or your sales director and let us know what we can do to help you because we're going to customize your training for what you want. And if you want the fast track, I've literally seen people and Monique, you've seen them too, come in to Mary Kay this last year with a $30 e-star and turn it into a $30,000 vehicle, just like that, okay? And it's great to see how many cars and things. And I love people like Monique who come in and say, oh, pandemic, okay, got this, and move on. I mean, literally the whole world shut down, I think, except for Mary Kay. We just went like insanely crazy. And wow, um, Jen Bessaker, great sales director friend of mine, did fought the virtual world, did $187,000 last year virtually, and did a million dollars. And in July, they put $61,000 into her account. Can you imagine how many of you can get excited about that? She shares her story all the time, how she fought the virtual world. And she decided, you know what? I'm just going to see. She sold $187,000 never leaving her house because we're patching out sample packets now and we're getting on all over the world. These are already made in my office, ready to go in the mail, ready to go out. It's great to be able to have that too. So, all right, we're going to give away some free things tonight. Here's how this is going to roll for all of you on here tonight. First off, if we draw your name, will you do us a favor so Monique and I know where you came in, where you're coming from, where you're, where you're patching in from, what state or where you're from. And then will you do us a little favor real quickly? Tell us one thing you heard tonight that you were impressed the most by. So Sherry, who is our first mascara winner? Janice, the first mascara is going to Margaret Jalek, who is Emily Stanley's guest. Okay, Margaret, if you are on this evening, will you pop off your microphone real quickly and tell us where you're coming in from? I'm coming in from Norman, Oklahoma. Okay, perfect, Margaret. What tonight did you hear that impressed you the most? Oh my gosh, Monique's story is just, it was spectacular. 
just listening to her um <clears throat> just listening